Hi guys, look what I found at the dollar store yesterday. Can you believe it? Look, boneless beef rib eye steak. I'm like, no way. I was um, in the dollar store yesterday and I was walking past the refrigerator section and this I saw this and it just stopped me right in my tracks. I had to, I, I did a double take and I, um, I picked it up. I'm like, no, it can't be, really? At first I thought, mm, maybe it's horse meat. <laughs> for a dollar so I had to make sure it didn't say horse meat on her or something but it says boneless beef ribeye steak and I love boneless beef ribeye steak um it's it also says that it's uh rubbed with seasoning so it has seasoning on it but I don't see anything on on it so I'm gonna use my own seasoning and I'm making this for dinner so hold, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's gonna taste decent um I also bought some Brussels sprouts at the 99 cent store and they were um, 99 cents each. And this was actually found at the Dollar Tree store, which everything is a dollar. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook this tonight and let you know what it tastes like. And like I said, I'm crossing my finger that it tastes decent because this is what we're going to eat. So I have opened up um, two of these packages. And maybe if you want to see the nutrition, can you see it right there? There you go. Um, so I opened up two packages, uh, three, and this is what the meat looks like. Now I'm going to, like, it's, like it said, they seasoned it, but I don't see any seasoning. <laughs> so I'm going to add my own. And I have here um, so, uh, some seasoning I had purchased at the 99 cent store um, a long time ago. And I'm going to use this, and it has a little grinder thing on top, I think, does it? Oh no, this one you just pour out of the bottle. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to flip it over and season the other side as well. Okay, Joseph, go ahead and season the steak or the meat. And I know that the this, this steak is pretty thin, but um, you know, we're going to eat it with rice tonight with some Brussels sprouts. Or you can have this for maybe like steak and eggs. Okay, good job, Joseph. The meat is cold, so I'm going to put it in the microwave and bring it to room temperature by using the defrost button. So I'm using an indoor grill because that's all that I have. I don't have an outdoor grill. Um, we're going to wait for it to get hot, and once it is hot, I think it already is, uh, we'll place our meat on top of the grill. So, okay, get out of the way, Joseph. Watch out for the oil. One. You know what? Let me lower the heat real quick. A little bit. And cut the meat out. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the meat on the grill now. I think it should be ready. And I figured it shouldn't take long to cook it because it's so thin. It's sticking to my grill though. Even though I have vegetable oil on there. And then uh, just check it. Once it turns brown, then we'll flip it on over. Like so. Oops. That's a smoke alarm. Tell Daddy. That's a smoke alarm, babe. Okay. I can't wait to taste it. I hope it tastes decent, like I said. At least edible. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm going to put it on. I need to get anything ready. No? Yeah, I need uh, some paper plates, too. Oh, just in the plate. Can you get me the wrong plate from here? So here we are. Uh, the meat is done. And we're going to be eating with, with um, some steak sauce here. And like I said, I still have two packages left because I wanted to try these first and um, to see how the seasoning was and if I needed to make any changes, um, then I'll just cook the other two later and make the changes then. So uh, let's do the taste test. 
So I'm going to have my son Joseph taste it. Joseph, go ahead and uh, try, try the first bite. What do you think? Does that taste good? good? Does it really? Uh-huh. Okay. Awesome. Have some more. Yeah, let me try one piece here. Who wants? To, who else wants to try a piece of steak here? Matthew, Timothy? Later. Later? Timothy, you want to try? Yeah. Come. Who are you? Yeah. Take a bite. Tell me what it tastes like. Oops, it came right out of your mouth. <laughs> okay, what did it taste like? Good. Really? Okay, Very my good. turn. Let's see. Let me see what it tastes like. For a dollar, let's see what the steak tastes like. Okay, here, here comes my bite. Yummy. Yum. You definitely can have this. Mmm, not bad. But steak and egg, yummy. Okay, it passed my test. That's that's a thumbs up right there. And it's only a dollar a bag. Amazing. Wow. Um, yeah, definitely perfect item for steak and eggs in the morning. Or steak, like what we're going to do, eat steak with um, Brussels rice. Sprouts. And Brussels sprouts, right. So, uh, there you go. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and check out my I other videos. I have lots of more videos out there showing... Um, items that I had purchased from the 99 cent store or the dollar store. Be sure to check them out. Thanks. Okay, so there you go. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. Soft and it's delicious. It's succulent. Oh my goodness. So here's our dinner for tonight. Two dollars. A dollar for steak. A dollar for um, being a uh, Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Sauteed Brussels sprouts. Yummy. Unbelievably cheap and delicious. There's our A1 sauce. Our steak. Take, check it out. Check it out. Oh, our bro yum. sauteed Brussels sprouts. Yum. So here is my plate. Uh, the one before was for my hubby. And this is what it looks like. And we still have some steak left over. I used the last two packages. And um, yeah, it was so good. So I went ahead and and did the last two packages again with the seasoning. So there it is. Yummy. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.